What could you possibly learn from an interaction with your twin? There's always a couple different ways that you can choose to receive some of these interactions. And there's always a couple different ways that you can outwardly project how you feel inside. Um, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Oh, you again? What do you want? I told you, leave me alone. I'm just trying to say hi. God, I already told you. I'm just out there letting my fang blow in the wind. I don't want anything to do with you. So there are surely a couple different ways that you can handle this and how, how you respond to something like this. Now here's one way. <laughs> you, you narcissist pig fucker. I, I, I hate you. You're the worst. Or you might try this way. Hmm. That hurts. That makes me feel like betrayed inside. Why does that make me feel betrayed? Because I think when I was a child, I just felt betrayed by like my family. Felt like they chose somebody, chose one of my siblings over me. It was like really betraying. Oh, now I understand what's happening. My twin brought that up in me so that I can heal that for both of us. That's like amazing. Hello? 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 All you do is ignore me. You. You. Narcissist. I'm done with you. It's over. Delete, 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 delete. Or you might try this way. Hmm. I really don't like when I'm ignored. And it really makes me feel like I'm a bit, you know, I'm being abandoned by the most important person in my life. So, hmm. I feel like, you know, somewhere in my life, I, I abandoned myself. Huh. I'm going to get to the root of this and like, really heal, heal this part of me that, that is being mirrored by my twin. So as you can see, the first reaction was feeding into the separation, feeding into the hurt, and allowing it to, you know, take over and just tank you. And the second reaction was a more logical approach to what's occurring on your twin flame journey. And while it hurt, you know, that second approach was that willingness to go within and seek out what it was you're feeling about that interaction and what it was you were feeling about what your twin said to you. And then getting to the core of it, healing it and releasing it, and then moving on. You'll notice that the first, the first approach was a pretty immature response and the second the second one was a very mature response on how to handle and master yourself and master your twin flame journey you know without a doubt these things hurt the mirroring doesn't 
necessarily feel all that good. But it's necessary. Right? If it didn't affect you in some way, you wouldn't really care. So there's always a couple different options that you have to to handle these things and and to react to them in a in a certain way. You know, you can you can go down the road of uh, prolonged misery, or you can head down the road of healing. So go down to the description box, and you know, click on the links to my website. There's a, a lot of great uh, learning tools for you there on your on your twin flame journey, and you know, connect with me, reach out to me, work with me, and I'll see you next time.